So, Krishna is all pervading, and the jivatma is only pervading this body. We have consciousness or awareness of our body from head to toe. So this is the quality of minute pervasiveness of the jiva shakti, who is known as tatasta shakti. So we have minute, very small pervasiveness and very small impact and influence. Intrinsically, the atma, jivatma, is transcendental to the three modes of material nature. Vishnu Chakravarti says, the other jivas, there's four kinds of jivas, the nitya parishads and eternal associates of Krishna, they have no contact whatsoever with the maya shakti or the modes of ignorance. But we conditioned souls, we are called tatashta. We are not antaranga shakti. We are not bahiranga shakti. We are tatasta shakti. Because we are situated on the border between the chit or spiritual shakti and the maya or material shakti. Border is just an ontological explanation. It's not a place, it's not a location, or a plane, or a planet. It's at all. It's only called tatasta to describe the ontological definition to classify Krishna's many energies, says in the Upanishads. Parasya shaktir vividaya shriyate sabhavaki jnana bala kriyacha. Satchitananda nanda rupam bhagavan has so many unlimited energies. So just to give some name, okay, there's a, there's a material energy, and there's a totally spiritual ener- energy, and there's something that's mixed in between. So the, you know, the, the, it's not fully spiritual, not fully material. So we are a spiritual being inside a material body. And now as living entities, as Jiva Shakti, we're stuck in a material body, in a material world, trying to go to the Chit Shakti and Chit Dham of Goloka Vrindavan and Vaikuntha through the process of sadhana and then attaining Mukti or Prema, liberation from the Maya Shakti.